Hello, welcome back. So I was looking at NLDS. I closed it. Actually, let me pull it up. NLDS. Um, NLSD. Mm, how about NDLS? Oh yeah, Noodles and Company. It's this one. Noodles. NDLS. Okay, one moment. So these were my lines yesterday. This was like the breakout, holding support, breaking out, and staying in this range. It's still staying in this range. I didn't check the long term. I have no idea what it's up, no idea what it's doing. Okay, that was noodles. Take it all the way back to the beginning. So uh, I started looking at the market at 920, looking at my top percent gainers. I have no idea what the formula is that makes these top percent gainers pop up, but I do like this platform because whenever I look at these, I always get good stuff. Um, so this was yesterday's BLNK, um, big spike, there was support, um, and then it broke support. And this was the interesting thing that I did today, is that... I made support from yesterday, um, but also like pre-market support. And once it broke it, like I was never trying to get in like before. So that's a thing that I learned, um, which was cool. So I'm going to say goodbye to BLNK. Because if you remember from the previous videos, I was like, oh, is it going to spike? Is it going to spike? So this is my new thing. So this was yesterday, TRVN. Went up, broke out, stayed in this range. This is pre-market. It dipped past the line of support of pre-market um, and this whole thing. So goodbye, I'm not trading you. So that was that. Hold on. Then um, MGNA. It, it just didn't look interesting to me. I'm into the stair stepper thing and this was just kind of hanging out by support. Was it is really low priced? Wasn't interested. Maybe I'll watch it for tomorrow. It looks very similar to O G O G E N, right? Look, it's like almost identical. It's so funny. So I wasn't interested in this one either. Um, let's see what else. This one also seems very familiar. They look like replicas of each other, O-G-E-N, P-L-A-G, M-N-G-A, like, it's so funny. So then V-T-V-T, -V -T. and I remember when V-T-V-T -V -T was running, O-G-E-N was running. So I did the same thing, where's, where's, uh, what is this, um, high of day yesterday, as my like baseline base support, right? And then where's pre-market support? Where's the range of it? And let's see what I did because I did have an entry on this. But it was really hard to get in and out, I remember, of this morning for some reason on the platform. Um, these are all fake trades. These are just paper trades. So I think I was expecting a dip or whatever. But you know what? Really, I'm realizing that like even if it touches support, it's got to like go like that for me to really be interested. Um, and I think what I did was like hold this one because I saw it going back up and then just like sold. I don't even know what I did, but this was this was like, eh. But really, once it broke support, I should have been out. And I think I couldn't get out because the software was slow. So I just, you know, broke even there. I think the nice tr there's a nice trade here from 370 to 430. I think that's uh, 70 to 4 and I think it's 50 cents. So that's a nice move. I think this is a morning uh, panic into a dip buy. So that was cool. Um very similar chart to UPL, not really, but I guess there was a little eh, this is 10 cents. So maybe I tried to get in, you know, close to support, thinking it's going to go higher, didn't. Once it breaks this little pre-market support, I, you know, it becomes uh, short in my mind. So got out of that one, didn't even try again because I was like, forget it. Um, this one looked interesting to me. This is SLS. Let me just review this. 
So it's doing the stair stepper thing. It's going up. So I got in there. Um, you know, it should have kept moving like this for me to be really interested, but you know, and it didn't break this line. So I was trying to give, I was trying to be patient and be like, well, it's not breaking my, my risk level. So chill out, stay. So staying and then it picked up support there, was climbing a little bit. Um, so I think for my initial entry of 182, it got up to like 230. So like 50 cents if you hold it the whole time. Um, f only, uh, f six cents there. And this was like, you know, into little moves trying to buy off support. So very little. So three cents and six cents. Um, and then this would have been the breakout, you know, the high there at 230. And then it's just like, you know, once it breaks, uh, what is this support? It, then... I guess it loses interest and it just steadily goes down from that point on a um, little bit of a dip but it can't break past resistance so it just keeps going I was also looking at the long-term chart of this one so in this one um, there was this point of resistance with which it broke past and I was like getting in there um, it did not break this one which is or did it? Maybe it did. The twos, yeah. But it didn't ever get up to like the 280s. So maybe it will tomorrow. Who knows? I'm gonna be watching this one. I did my high of the day. So it's even it's below high of day. Um, but I think there was still some it's still in the same like channel. Um you know, like this same vein. What else? So this one would have been my best trade. I started to get busy at this point and I and like my computer died and I couldn't watch anything and this was like the best trade of the whole day. I was in at 451. I would have absolutely held, you know? I would have held for sure. This would have been my best trade ever. This is like a five dollar move. Um, I really wish that my computer wouldn't have died. I wish I would have had time to watch this. Um, me being patient on this would have been awesome. But I, it was what, what did I get in it for? Let me just pull it so I could see. But, you know, once it like broke out a little bit, I was in there. 451, 467. So what is that? 15 cents? I can't even, who knows? I think this was noodles. So yeah, noodles, it went up same vein you know so this one was the best one for me today um you know in theory um let's see what the year to date chart is so it's approaching points of resistance wait those are never mind hold on did this company just start Wait a second. This doesn't make it. Oh, those are my entries. We're all the way up at. F so I have to go back more. Mm, sevens, nines, twelves. So it's broken past all of these points of resistance. Let me go back to three years. Um. That's $10, $13, four, $14, 14 where are we now? Yeah, it's got a little bit more overhead, you know, then another stop at 20 and and 24 like I personally think this will be interesting to watch tomorrow, so I'm definitely going to watch it. Um... Because like LFIN, LFIN I remember in two days went from like 26 to 115 or something like that. So, and it's got three pieces of news, which would be interested. I would be interested in, in checking that out. So that's all for today. Thank you. Have a good night.